Hello everyone and welcome. In this lesson, we will learn about groups. So basically, you can think of a group like a container. We can take a collection of objects and have them stored within that group. It is almost like linking or parenting, so essentially that group will drive everything stored in it. All right, now the question is how we can use these groups. Well, let's say for example that we want to take our head object and store them underneath a group so that we are able to control it as one unit. In our case, we would want to grab all of our head objects, okay? Then from the group menu here at the top of the interface, we'd want to choose group. 3ds Max will ask us if we would like to rename our group and yes, why not? <laughs> it is a good idea to rename our object to stay organized. So let's call it GRP underscore head. Then click on the OK button. All right, now watch this. If we select our head model, we are instead selecting the group. And we know that because its name is showing up right over here at the top in the command panel. This is the GRP head. And so when we start now rotating, all right, take a look. We are now controlling the head as well as the eyes, teeth, okay? And everything that belongs to that group we have created how cool is that now let's say if we want to select just the eyes okay because if we try to select the eyes right now we are actually selecting the group okay if we try this again and try to select the eyes we are instead gonna select the group as you can see the same thing goes for the head. We are instead selecting the group. And so how can we do that? How can we select the object inside of that group and still have access to select the group itself? Well, to do so, we'll grab the group first, okay? Then under the group menu, we will choose this time open. Now we will have this pink brackets appear over our contained objects that are part of the group. So notice, if we now grab the eyes, now we are actually selecting the eyes, as you can see right over here. We have the left eye selected. We can start moving our objects around, as you can see. Also the head model, okay? Also notice this, we still have access to our group and if we click on the pink bracket, we'll select the group. As you can see, we are now selecting the GRP head. And so we can move it around, okay? Just like so. And all is well. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? And again, it is the parent of our head objects. So we will see the entire head follows. So that's basically how we can group objects together. It is a very simple but yet a very widely used tool, especially for rigging objects. Now, let's say that, for instance, we wanna add an object to this group. Well, all we need to do is select that object. Let's, for instance, just to show you this, I will add the hand model, okay? And so, all we need to do is select the object that we want to add it first. Then from the group menu, we'll choose attach. Then we'll pick next our group. 
by selecting the pink bracket and take a look our object has been added successfully to that group and now if we start moving our group around right the object is now part of the group and everything follows properly how exciting is that now what if we wanna do the reverse and this time remove a specific object from the group well to do so we will simply select that object for instance the head that we have added then from the group menu again we want to choose this time detach now the object is no longer part of the group all right beautiful if you want to if you want to adjust the actual pivot of the group itself as you can see now it is right over here at the top we can still select the group itself and under the hierarchy tab we can use use the effects pivot only mode okay as we have seen previously in the previous lesson and we can move this to the position we would like let's move it right around here at this spot where it should be so that we can be able to rotate our head and get some nice and believable motion of our head all right this is looking now awesome and much better all right great <laughs> now what if we wanna get rid of this group well we can go ahead and to the group menu and choose either the ungroup or explode but before we do so you can see how they are grayed out at this moment the reason why we get this is because our group is currently open and so we need first to close it so we will select first the group okay by clicking on the pink bracket to select it then under the group menu we will choose the close option and now when we do so and with our group still selected let's go ahead to the group menu again and this time we will choose either the ungroup or the explode commands both function the same way okay i will select explode and take a look <laughs> the group has been removed okay entirely from our scene there is no group now in our scene and to check this we can use the schematic view by clicking on this icon over here at the main toolbar and as you can see there is no group at all and to see this clearly if we undo back to bring back our group again let's undo back a few times all right now take a look here is our group okay and now when we select again the group and close it then ungroup it voila it disappears entirely from our scene and now we don't have any groups in our scene all right so we have learned in this lesson about groups what are groups and learn how to utilize them in the next lesson we will learn about bones